So good morning everybody. I'm at Celeron Shopping Center dropping off a load of kids to the movie theaters. I guess they've re reopened them. All right. So thank you very much and see you in a bit. All right. So I'm at Celeron Shopping Center and I've seen buses with tickets on them before here. Now I've talked to security and they've told me that they don't want buses here. There is a certain area where we were allowed to park, but I'm not exactly sure. So if you're not going to be nice to me, I'm not going to be nice to you. I'm going to be leaving here and I'm going to head down to the Gloucester Center where they want my money. So anyway, thank you very much. And here is the map. All right, so we've got a charter to Celeron Shopping Center. Uh, we're going to the new, newly opened movie theaters again. So uh, if you're coming along the uh, Queensway, you can take this and get off at the Celeron exit. Remember that you got to take the 417 Celeron exit to get there. Uh, or you can take Ogilvy. Um, notice Gloucester Center is right here. It's about a kilometer away from the Celeron Shopping Center. And I'll get to that in a minute. Okay. So, uh, the reason why I mention the Gloucester Center and Celeron, because they're very close. And this is Celeron Shopping Center. Uh, they have an issue with buses parking there. Uh, they have informed me that this small, tiny, filled-in area is okay for buses. Um, logistically, it's a nightmare. You can get in there, but uh, it's too small and it's filled with cars, so forget about it. It's not going to work. All right, so um, I talked to security. They said, oh, well, here is great. I said, here is not great. They said, well, then you can park here. Well, I've seen buses getting tickets here. Now, if I was in charge of security or parking at this mall, I would park here with a bus. Why? There are no cars here. There are a few trucks. And that way, it's less likely that you're going to get stuck in there. But they don't want that. So, okay. Um... What I suggest you do is simply don't park at Celeron Shopping Center. If you have to stick around, I have parked over at Perkins. Uh, there is an area right here for a bus, easy enough. Or you can go to Gloucester Center or even up towards the Giant Tiger uh, Mall, just about oh, 30 seconds away. But um, I think it's rather short-sighted of them because... In the summertime, I drive cadets and tourists around the city. Sometimes they want to go shopping. Now, do you think I'm going to suggest that they go to Celeron if I cannot park there? Probably not. There are other malls who want my money. So, it's unfortunate, but I guess Celeron is doing so well financially, they don't require money. All right, so that's it for me. Uh, yeah, if you were to take the uh, Queensway off, you'd come off here, go across here, and stop here because the um, the uh, entrance for the movie theater is right around here. So thank you very much, and here is the drive. <sighs>
this is where they want us to park our buses. Yeah, there is no space for a bus here. Wonderful. All right, so if you're going to be stuck at Celeron Shopping Center for any amount of time, I don't recommend you park there, okay? Uh, they do have a section. It is tight, it is filled with cars, and it makes no sense. So, what I have chosen to do, I have gone to Silver City, which is a kilometer away, and look, parking, and I don't get a ticket. And Gloucester Center is just over there. I can go in and get something to eat, and I can spend money there, where they want me. Where they're not gonna say, ooh, we don't want you parking here. Because after all, buses in the parking lot says, oh no, children and tourists come here with money. We don't want that. So there you go. Enjoy your day and thank you for watching this video. Bye.